Are you ready? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best, the most insane, the paciest, the sweatiest 500k squad that money can buy on FIFA 21. Well, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. Before this team, I was running around Division 2 like a freaking headless chicken. I don't know which way was up, which way was down, what was left, what was right. I was lost, let me tell you. But ever since I have been using this insane team, I am now in Division 1. My skill rating is through the roof. I'm like 1900 plus, 1900 plus. I'm not a scrub anymore, ladies and gentlemen. I'm not a scrub. <laughs> I would never think the day would come, but it is here. And this team is not only good for division rivals. This is a weekend league certified squad. It's ready for the weekend league. This will get you at least gold one in the weekend league. You can bet my freaking left testicle on it. I promise you this team will change. It will change the way you play FIFA. So without un without further ado, there's been enough blabbering. Let me show you guys what I'm talking about. Okay, to start things off, we want to change the formation to 451. So let's just scroll along here and there you have it. Well, we, well, will you look at that? Okay, starting off in goalkeeper, this is the man, the myth, the legend, the Champions League winner, Manuel Neuer. I know what it says, zero games played. That is because I just bought him, but this man needs no intro fucking duction. This is Neuer. Look at those stats. You really think he's gonna be bad for you? You really think that? This guy's stopping everything. This guy's a certified go. Enough about Neuer. Into the center box. Center back number one on the left side is no other than David Alaba. Look at these stats, ladies and gentlemen. 77 pace, 83 defending, 76 physical. You could play this guy freaking center mid if you wanted to, but don't do that. Play, play him center back. He is in a fantastic center back. He gets lots of assists for me from corners because he is my corner kick taker because he is fantastic passing stats. Look at those. Look at those passing stats. Take free kicks with this guy. So what I do, he's freaking amazing. And he is a little bit small, so that's why I pair him up with this tank. Look at this motherfucker. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, he's right here. I just saw him. Glosterman. This guy's huge. This guy's like a moving truck. Look at him. Six foot two, six foot two, 88 pace, 88 pace, sprint speed I should say, 88 sprint speed, this guy's fast, this guy's catching any center, but any striker that comes at him, he's a god, and he works perfectly with Alba, because Alba is the better defender, I'll tell you that, Alba's much better defender, but Klosterman is that powerhouse. He's in the box, he's winning headers, he's making crunching tackles, and he's just that presence in your box that you need. And right next to him, there's another big man. Another absolute tank. Mukiele. Mukiele, look at this guy. Just look at him, he looks freaking mean. Six foot two as well. He's an absolute unit with 87 sprint speed. Holy shit, this guy is solid. He helps out great in the box too. Look at that, 90 jumping. No one's winning headers over this guy. And on to the left back, a little bit switch because my left back is a smaller guy. Roussillon, the Frenchman at five foot nine, but at 88 pace. Ooh, mama, this guy is good. This guy is fantastic. And I know his passing stats say 74, this guy sends the best through ball to the left winger, who you are going to see right now. And who is he? Who is the left winger? Usman freaking Dumbele. Let me just show you this guy's stats. Look at that. 73 goals, 20 goals, 22 assists from left mid. This guy is pacey, pacey, pacey. Runs down the wing, a through ball from Rusalon will send him past the opponent's defenders into the 
end of the field and this guy sends the most beautiful crosses this guy's passing is insane i know that says 77 oh i get so many goals and just dembele running down the wing and sending in a driven cross oh i love this guy he is a bit pricey though 72,000 coins but this is a 500k squad builder so what did you expect and right next to him the main man the most expensive player in our team Anthony Martial costing a whopping 155,000 coins but he is worth it let me tell you look at those stats 53 goals 44 44 goals and 20 assists Anthony Martial is very very good very very good his finishing is sublime pace is fantastic and his passing is very good as well as you can see he has 20 assists now show me another striker who can do that he is a bit pricey 155,000 coins but you know we needed one or two big name players in this team and at striker his partner in crime Rodrigo this guy I love this guy so much look at this guy's stats 49 goals 39 uh, 49 games 39 goals 21 assists this guy's arguably just as good as Martial but I packed him but he's only like 30k 30k for this guy and his stats are almost identical to Martial I don't know if Martial's shit or Rodrigo is just absolutely another level of good but I'm gonna say Rodrigo is just another level of good because I love Martial Martial is fantastic Rodrigo is perfect like for 30k you can't go wrong throw a hunter on this bad boy and you're looking at a top tier striker ladies and gentlemen okay next we have Goretzka okay when I bought this guy when I bought Goretzka I just thought he was gonna be like just in the team for chemistry like whatever right but Goretzka is my favorite player on this team Goretzka 18 goals 16 assists in 51 games now think about it this guy's playing center mid for me he's not striker he's not cam he's playing center mid he's a box to box he scores goals he gets assists and most importantly he defends the ball he holds the team together he's the fucking glue this team doesn't work without Goretzka and not only Goretzka is vital to this team the man who plays next to him and who is he you might ask who is this fabled legend you are talking about diamond d it's sissoko open up the stats on sissoko i love sissoko sissoko and goretzka are in the middle no one gets past these guys 78 pace 77 defending 89 physical 89 physical you see that 89 physical yo this guy is a tank 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 I not enough good things in the freaking dictionary to describe Musa Sissoko. Musa Sissoko, 91 stamina, 84 sprint speed, 81 stand tackle, 77 slide tackle, 90 strength, 85 aggression. This guy, and look at his height. Man's is six foot two. My man is six foot two. No one is getting around Sissoko. Sissoko is a tank. I love Sissoko. Oh my god, Sissoko is amazing. And over to the right wing, we have Lucas Mora to finish the team. Lucas Mora is okay. He's good. He's good. He does his job. I'll give him that. 49 goals, 49 games, 9 goals, 13 assists. He's not anything special. Nothing to write home about. He isn't the best player in the world. He's not going to win you the game single-handedly. But he does score. He does assist. He does his job perfectly. Runs down the wing gives and crosses gives and passes what else do you need from your right mid he does not have five star skills but he's a four star four star which works just fine and i love lucas lucas is amazing okay guys this is my 500k team i will show you my custom tactics so you can play this team perfectly everyone in the right position and to make sure you guys win the most games possible all right, all right, all right. Welcome to the custom tactics, and these are very important. You want to change your formation to 4-4-2, the basic, the standard, the go-to formation everyone uses at the beginning of FIFA 4-4-2. Okay, these are 
the tactics, the settings you want to be using to get the most out of this team. You want your width at 5 and your depth at 1, 2, 3, 6. 6. 6 depth, okay? Don't go lower. Don't, no, it doesn't work this year. You need high depth. It, trust me, it works. And make sure your defensive settings are both on balanced and your offensive style is also on balanced. And for your width on offense, you want to put that bad boy on 5. You want to ramp up your players in the box to 7. This year, you need it because you're going to be sending in a lot of crosses with this team, especially with Nabelli on the left and Lucas on the right. And you need lots of player in the, players in the box to win those headers and get those volleys. And for corners and free kicks both, you want to put 3. Okay, You want your players in the box. It's very important. It's what makes this team work. And for the formation, you want to light up the line up the team just like this. Alba Klosterman, center backs, Neuer and Nat, Rusalon and Mukiele on left back and right back. Gretzka, Gretzka Sissoko in the middle, Usman Lucas Mora on the wings, and Martial and Rodrigo up front to form that deadly striking combination. Okay, the instructions you want to be using on your team is stay back while attacking for your whole back line. All of them want to stay back while attacking. And for your center mids, you want Goretzka on cover center, that's it. Don't change anything else. He is going to be your box to box, running up and down, uh, creating offense, helping on defense. He's going to be doing a little bit of everything. But Sissoko on the other hand, you want to play this man on stay back while attacking and cover center. He is your rock in this team. He's going to hold everything together and he is the last line of defense before your center backs. Next is Mr. Lucas Mora on the wing. Now him and Usman have the same settings. They both are going to be on comeback on defense and get in behind. So they're going to help on defense and they're going to make attacking runs, which is just what you need. And uh, for your attackers, you can either put them both on just general nothing changed or what I do is I put Rodrigo on get in behind because Rodrigo just is a little bit faster than Martial and he makes those runs to get in behind the defense line. What I don't recommend you do is put them both on get in behind because if you do this, your center mids and strikers are going to have a fuck ton of space between them which you don't want. You want there to be one a little bit behind and one making the runs. That is what works best. And just to prove to all you haters out there who think I'm not good at FIFA, look at my skill rating, 1922, bitch. I'm in Division 1. I'd like to see you do that. Actually, if you do, my Twitter's in the description. Send me a tweet. Show me. Show it to me. Prove it to me. Because I don't believe you're good at this game. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more with Diamond D.